Hi ladies and gentlemen, in this video we have an incredibly important topic to cover and that is how to detox the brain naturally. You're not going to want to miss this. Hi, I'm Dr. Zorowski from NewVisionExcel.com. If you're new to the channel and you want to excel your health in your life, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell notification and you'll be well on your way. Today's topic, like I mentioned, is incredibly important for you to know and incredibly important to, for you to understand because it affects, I believe, so many people and I think so many people are suffering from brain toxicity. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Now, the reason that brain toxicity is so prevalent today is because it's estimated that we have an exposure of a hundred times more to toxins than our ancestors did. One of the things about many toxins is they have an affinity for nervous system tissue, neurological tissue. So many of these toxins like to store in our brain. Now, what we'll do is go ahead and talk about a couple of these toxins, how it affects the brain and the symptoms that come from it, and then what you can do about it. Now, I just listed a couple of the major things that people suffer from, some of the major top toxins, but you have to understand that the list of toxins could have filled this board three times um, that, that people are exposed to. So we're just gonna mention a couple of them here and then go ahead and, and, and you know, go through this process of how it's destroying your brain health. Now, one of the big ones is mercury. The reason that mercury is so bad is because in an adult, in adults, it's research proven to actually go and cause focal damage within the brain. Now, in developing brains, such as children's brains, it's research proven to actually cause widespread damage throughout the, the whole brain in its entirety. Now, lead is also a big one. Lead has been research proven to affect neurotransmitters such as GABA. Now, GABA is responsible for helping us calm down and relax. And when we have lead that is toxifying our brain, then essentially it can disrupt these neuro the neurotransmitters. And I mean, you could start to draw conclusions. Kids who have ADHDs, who have attention deficit disorders, kids who can't calm down. And these same kids could be affected through, from brain toxicity. Now, and some other big ones are toxins such as mold, arsenic, and like I said, the list goes on. Now, let's go ahead and talk about how these affect the brain. So what happens is when you have these different toxins in your body, what it does is it causes neuroinflammation because these toxins get into the brain. Now, you're probably thinking, well, how do they get in the brain? Well, the, the thing is, is that our brain has this woven mesh-like structure that actually protects us from these toxins. How in the world are these toxins getting in? And the reason for that is because due to chronic inflammation, something called leaky brain happens in a lot of people. Many of you have probably heard of leaky gut. I've covered it so many times, but you probably haven't heard of leaky brain. So what happens with leaky brain is that when the uh, there's chronic inflammation in the body, the blood-brain barrier which is this woven-like structure that is comprised of cells called astroglia cells, These, this structure can become compromised. Now, normally this structure only lets nano-sized particles into the brain, but when it becomes compromised, it starts to let larger particles get into the brain. And so when that happens, this causes an inflammation in the brain. Now, when there's this inflammation in the brain, these toxins in the brain, what happens is there's something called microglia cells. These microglia cells are designed for you know, cleaning up dead neurons and actually going in and doing a lot of great things for our brain. But what happens when these microglia cells become overactivated, they create a overzealous inflammatory response. And then it becomes this negative feedback system because the blood-brain barrier is compromised, the toxins are getting into the brain, the microglia cells are activated due to the inflammation, and then because the microglia cells become so chronically overactive, they actually drive inflammation. So then we have this negative feedback cycle where the problem gets worse and worse. Now you could imagine all this is happening. Well, what does it actually do to us? What are the symptoms? So the symptoms are poor memory, brain fog, decreased brain endurance, unclear thoughts, decreased mental speed, poor focus, and brain fatigue from sense. And so when we start to look at all these different, these different symptoms that come out of it, we can even start to draw the conclusions and we can see how toxins actually lead to neurodegenerative disorders such as dementia. Now, brain toxicity and neuroinflammation is, is said to mimic dementia. And so this is why all these symptoms become present. 
Now, I don't know if you've heard my story. Many people who follow me know my story. And the reason that I even got into this whole cellular detoxification and toxicity and brain toxicity is because I actually suffered from neuroinflammation and brain toxicity myself. I remember when I was in graduate school, it, I, I started having all the devastating effects that come from neuroinflammation. And at the time, I didn't know what it was. And these are all the symptoms right here that I faced. Now, you could imagine being in graduate school and having to take boards and all these different things, how devastating that actually is. When I actually started researching, it led me down this path. And when it led me down this path, I was able to actually heal myself and get myself well. I think the most devastating thing about this is how many lives are destroyed from people who are suffering in this way and don't have an answer to it. You know, you could imagine people who have all these symptoms, they go and they get themselves on pharmaceuticals to help them focus. They get themselves on pharmaceuticals to help their, their brain be able to retain more memory and more information. They have, you know, broken relationships relationships over it. They have careers that go down the tube over it all because of this, you know, just because they can't focus. We have so many kids today that have these same symptoms. And, you know, a lot of these kids are having these, these symptoms straight out of the gate. So what we have to do is we have to be able to, first of all, identify that there's a problem. Now that we know that there's a problem, we know that what the symptoms are, and we know how this is all occurring, we can do something about it. So in order to actually go in and start healing brain toxicity and detoxing the brain and healing leaky brain, the first thing we have to do is we have to decrease inflammation in the body. So by decreasing inflammation in the body, we can start to heal that blood brain barrier. And if you're working with a doctor, or you're working with somebody who's helping you with detox, they need to make sure that you're healing the blood brain barrier first so that you don't make matters worse. Because what can happen if you start shaking up these toxins in the body and and the blood brain barrier is compromised, you can actually toxify the brain further because as these toxins become free floating, they get into the brain to a further extent. So we have to decrease inflammation. We have to make sure that the blood brain barrier is, is functioning properly. And then from there, what we can do is we can go and find a type of binding agent, a type of detoxification agent that goes in and it actually attaches to these different toxins and pulls them from the deep tissues, pulls them from the brain and excretes them from the body so that now you have a solution in a way to get well and to heal the body and heal the brain. I'll go ahead and put a link to my article that I wrote on brain toxicity because if you're somebody who is really identifying with these different symptoms here, then I know that you want more information. So I'll put that link in the description below so you can go and read my article and get further information on it. And I'd love to know you know, if this is something that you suffer from, I'd kind of like to gauge how many people are out there suffering from brain toxicity and neuroinflammation. Put in the comments below if you have any questions or if you're somebody who is suffering from this, I'd love to know. And also, please give this video a thumbs up so that we can get it in front of as many people as possible because there's so many people out there who need to know this information. Until next time, guys, make it a great day.